Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Auto J. I do a whole bunch of car vlogs, car meets, upcoming car builds. You know, the beast isn't in the right shape, so you know we're gonna work on her. Uh, what else? I do a bunch of car stuff, car dealerships, um, a lot of exotic videos. I do a lot of bike reviews too. Gotta go back to uh, super bikes down in North Miami. And that's pretty much it. You guys can't tell by the title of this video. It was Father's Day on Sunday. So, you know, uh, shout out to at Supercar Rooms and at XXXELO or LO. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's a cool dude. You can't miss him. Light skin with gigantic afro and a and a good looking beard. But shout out to them because they followed me like tonight. Like say for instance, tonight they followed me and then they followed me and DM'd me the next morning too. Told me to, they're having a Father's Day event, supercars, brunch, all of what sorts and all that. Sorry if you guys really can't hear me that well. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can because there's a highway right behind us. But they DM'd me saying that we had a Father's Day supercar event. So I was like, say less. I can bring my dad, show him around like what I do, what I vlog about, and just show him like, like how I go in, how I talk to people and everything of some sorts. Cause my dad is the whole reason why I do what I do. He loves cars. I grew up listening to his stories about his FCR X7, his Toyota Corona, and everything of some sorts. And that's pretty much the reason why I do what I do. Cause he loves cars and I just so happen to fall into the love of cars probably 50% more than him because he doesn't like the camber that some of these guys roll with and a whole bunch of other stuff but he's pretty much the whole reason why I do what I do and why I go out and vlog every day because you know I show my dad what I do trying to make him proud my mom too of course can't forget mom but it's pretty much it all these exotic car reviews FDR X7s that reminds me, there's gonna be a place that I'm gonna try to film at that has an FDR X7, a Datsun Third Lady, four of the 400Z, but you guys not know, that's a new one coming out. Keep your eyes peeled on that. But they got that, they got an R33 GTT, or GTR GTT, I'm gonna show you guys the difference when I go there and film. Uh, what else they got? They got a Honda NSX, and I'm getting sidetracked, I like, I like rambling on. Well, let's go back to my dad, but he's mostly the reason why I vlog every day and I start taking to the event. You know when you're a kid and you go someplace and their eyes just brighten up and they're like, damn, wow, like I've never seen this before. That was him. And it was, it, was, it felt like a, what's the word? Like a proud moment, I can say, that I'm of age now where I can take my dad to these things, even though when I was a kid, he used to take me to car shows and we would see like the new Subaru that came out. Um, or the concept first Toyota Supra, if you guys remember that, I'll try to put that in the video. And like on the way driving back home, he was like, dang, like, I'm like, thank you for taking me out. He's like, nah, I see really why you do what you do. And I said, yeah, this is just a day in the life auto jet. I always drive down to Miami. He's like, you drive this far? I say, yeah, I drive this far probably three, four days out of the week when I make videos for you guys. Other days I'm doing homework, because you know school comes first. We're almost done, one more, one more, well two more, sem um, two more semesters left, which is one year, so you guys are enough. Grad, grad student, link kids. You feel me, graduate. Smart, but yeah. But it was, it was, it was, a, it was a nice day with my dad and pulling him outside, but no lie, guys, why Miami so hot? Bro, I was out there in a black shirt and black uh, cut-off shorts. Nobody told me to do that. I thought I was looking fresh. Stupid. I was out there looking hot and sweaty. Couldn't do it no more. But the timer just went off. I set the timer for five minutes of talking. But yeah, that's what I just wanted to say about my dad. Now, let's go back to daily programming. Don't forget to subscribe. He had nobody to build his own car. He says cars. <laughs>
power. Back here in the six. The very, very first Porsche went to auction in 2019. And I was on there, I was one of those guys who wanted to buy that car because I couldn't believe it. VIN number one, 1947. The very first Porsche ever built went to auction at Bottoms. The first bid was seven million dollars. I was out of, I was out of the game. I was like, it was like, hello, all of those creamers get out. Go over to Europe now. This. Right. I don't even know what this one is. Factory 5 Racing GTM Supercar. GTM Fiberglass Carbon Fiber Body. GTM manual carbon fiber console. But yeah, I know I didn't start out this vlog correctly, but today is Father's Day. Feel me? Brought my dad out. Show him what I do, how I do it, and all type of sorts of stuff like that. But this is supercar rooms with Zelio or XXX E L E O him, but they got a wide range of cars here. Got a Mercedes Benz. This looks like an LS. It looks like an LS. Has to be catch can. Everything. Porsche over there, Porsche Tacon. Mustang GT500. The regular um Ford Mustang. But yeah. Let me catch some more clips for you guys. We'll start off from there. Or continue there, I should say. Whatever, what the hell this is. This is the last naturally aspirated 911 that made. Everything after this one, the 992 and above, turbocharged. So I perfectly got this car because they're naturally aspirated. Porsche is this particular car is the only car that sold in America. So if you want a rear engine vehicle in America, you have it loves speed. So the faster you go, the better it rides. For sure. Naturally aspirated Porsche, and this is why he bought this particular car. Before you start it up, could you open the engine so people get to see it first? Absolutely. Then if it's dirty, we'll shame you. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're here to shame people. See if he drives it or he Oh my God, you can't see a thing. <laughs> That's it. This guy is teasing us. Could you believe this? He says he's gonna open the motor and he shows us just two fans. Is that how you work on it? How do you work on it? You don't. You don't? You don't. You take it to Porsche. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, in, in the 911, you actually cannot see the engine in any 911. Anymore. When you pop the hood, all you see are fans. And it doesn't matter if it's this particular one, the newest one, or the old one from way back. That's all you get to see. In order but to see the why? Engine, you have to have it on the lift and the bumper's got to be off. Yeah. So if you have a problem, you got to take the whole drawer off before you get to the action? Absolutely. Man, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get to the action right away. I need to change your spugs, you know? But very few problems with these vehicles. Yeah, very it's precision. It's a car then. The Carrera GT and not a crazy car. Anyway, we've got now a lot of the stories about the Carrera. So let's get it and let's hear this thing roar. This is all gasoline, by the way. What gas do you put in it? Premium. 98 premium? Oh, yeah. You sure? The highest octane I can get. The highest octane you can get. So you know it's not. 
not an eight cylinder car. Americans all know eight, okay? The Japanese, they do straight sixes because that's a Japanese thing. The Germans do flat sixes, okay? Flat sixes mean, meaning the, 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 the pistons are going sideways versus upwards, okay? The Germans kind of figured out if I go horizontal, I'll get a little bit more power than if I go against gravity. Weber. For this? Lamborghini. Engine on the front. V12. Naturally aspirated. I don't really know if you guys can really hear me enough, but the whole event is happening outside. This is an inside right now. Miami is a lot hot, so excuse me for my sweatiness. But they got an Alfa Romeo right here. They got a Maserati over there. The front engine Alfa Romeo. The stern wheel, of course. Die hard battery. We have a Maserati over here. Custom hoods. Anything you guys need in terms of vintage automotive, all of that is pretty much what he goes off of. Cut a lot of mobile. Made from ground up. I don't even know if he drives these to be honest. He has a Lamborghini wheel, the pedal shifters and all. I like this. Thank you. And he also, well, I lost my train of thought. Uh, he also has like a whole bunch of other cars here. Um, like I showed you guys before, but we're just started. YouTube, please don't copyright me. But going back outside. No, because everybody here are car guys. And they've seen every car in the world. I can see it and they think I'm Will Smith. You know, I don't look like him. They think it's a Calvin Klein model. No, oh, they think it's a Calvin Klein model. More importantly, they want to know what it is. So by the time I pull up here in the front, I swear you not, I had four or five cars on my tail. And they'll pull up behind me and they'll say the same question. And I'll have to prep myself to answer the same question for a year. What the hell is that? And I'll be like, it is the ETV. And they're like, what is the ETV? And I said, the extraterrestrial vehicle. <laughs> and they look at me like, what are you smoking? <laughs> More importantly, it is a creation for a movie that Mike Vetter designed for the movie. He still builds them. He just built one that was actually featured and won in Amelia Island Concourse as a very unique home-built car. You go 100 miles an hour, you're gonna go five miles an hour, but you get there at the end with maybe 200 kilos of water off your body. There's no AC. I still have the other two. I still have the other two. So the red version, I had them all in the same color. They're all black for the movie. And the red one, which I painted red, is in London at the London Motor Museum. The blue one is with my friend right now. I had a Porsche motor put in it and AC. Ooh. And I'm trying to get it as a car that I can drive in Florida. <laughs> and can get somewhere without the charge. But this one, I kind of retired it here. You're very welcome to come take some photos in it. If you feel like having a day sauna, this is it. This is the perfect sauna. You lose all the weight you want to weigh. You lose. Let me open that door. So literally right now, he's just going around the whole lot telling everybody what each car was. As you guys just saw, that jet looking car is ETV, extraterrestrial vehicle so on and so forth and now they're talking over here about motorcycles i'll just let him explain that's how you shape the tank yeah the the tank is mostly beaten into a, an oak stump 
it gets beat into the sandbags, ran through an English wheel, and then we use a lot of hammer and dollies to do the final finish on it. Fantastic. And as the a build like this, it's basically artisanal to you. You basically talk to the client, the client decides what they want, you discuss it. With yeah, them. it's a discussion back and forth uh, with the customers. And at the end, I mostly take projects that I'm really interested in and where I have a lot of free reign as far as the design goes. But I mean, generally the customers and I have a general consensus of what we're trying to achieve. And what you do is you push on that and it pushes the float bowl down and allows more fuel to come up inside the bowl. And these things aren't always one kick. It's not Japanese. <laughs> so this is an English bike for those I don't know. He's going to start it up. So you go to the top dead center and then you pull this compression release and you go just a hair past, let go. Now the kick. Hmm. Three times the choke. That was a good day at Supercar Rooms Father's Day event. Fox, how'd you like the event? That's good, bro. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, did, you know what I, mean? I, don't, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but the man with the afro, that man was telling stories. Lamborghini, son that he knows. Got that Lamborghini tractor gifted to him. Started up bikes. But this Miami sun here is something serious. But thank you guys for tuning in. A little tired thing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you guys in the next one. Whew.